Hey guys, Denise here with Print Aura. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a product to your Shopify store through Print Aura. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're signed into your seller account. I'm already signed into mine, so all I need to do is come up here to where it says My Products and click Add Product. So at this point, you should already have the product that you want to add to your Shopify store set up with Print Aura. It's also a great idea to order a sample of the product that you're putting in your store before you put it there. This way, you know that your customers are getting exactly what you want them to get. So the first thing I need to do is come over here to where it says choose a brand. If you haven't decided which brand you're going to use, you can come up here to where it says products and look through the different brands we offer. So now, assuming that you have the brand and the product in mind that you want to put your image on, you just need to come over here to where it says choose brand and select the brand you decided on. So I decided to go with next level, so I'm just going to click on it. And then this bar here will automatically populate all the different products that we offer for that brand. So I'm going to come over here and click the ladies sporty v-neck. So now that I have the brand and the product set up, I can now select my front and back print. Your front and back print are the images themselves that you want printed on the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and select my front print. I want to use this image here, so all I need to do is just click on it, and then it's set. I don't have a back print that I want for this shirt, so I don't need to worry about this. If you do have a back print, all you need to do is select this little checkbox here and do the exact same thing. This is the image you have uploaded that shows both your design and the product. So again, I'm just going to click select. Here's my mock-up, so all I need to do is just click on it. And now I have my front mock-up set up as well. The next thing to do is to select the different colors you want to offer your shirt in in your store. So since my design is white, I can only really select dark color shirts. So I'm going to choose this purple, this blue, this maroon color, and black. I could probably also offer this hot pink color and this red color, but I think I'm just going to stick with these four color choices for my store. So all of your colors will automatically populate here. You'll also notice that you can choose a default color for your store. I'm going to go ahead and choose the plum color because that's the color that my mock-up is. You'll also notice here that we have a pricing table. It's divided into normal sizes and plus sizes. It will show you what the cost is for the shirt. It will give you an option to set the pricing of the shirt, and then it will also show you what your profit is from the shirt. We've populated a suggested retail price for each item, but you can absolutely change this to whatever you'd like. So let's say I want to price my shirt at $30 instead of $27. All I would need to do is change it here, and it'll show me the new profit I'll gain from selling a shirt. You can also do the same thing with plus sizes. If you'd like to offer it at the same price as your normal size shirts, you can absolutely do that as well. I'm going to go ahead and change this back and scroll down to the next step. So here, you'll need to enter your SKU information. This is just a way for you to track which products you're selling. It can be a number, it can be words, it doesn't really matter, it's really just for your own reference. So I'm just going to title this something that will help me identify which shirt it's referencing. The next thing you'll need to fill out is the title. This is the title that will show up in your Shopify store for your product. It should be descriptive, but not too long. The next thing you'll need to do is enter in the product's weight. Most t-shirts weigh about half a pound, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in 0.5 pounds. The next thing I need to do is enter in some product tags. This will help people find my shirt. The next thing you need to do is fill out your product description. The description you insert here will show up in your Shopify store. This is a really great opportunity for you to really sell your items, so take a while and really think about what you want to say here. 
For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it blank for the moment. So the next thing you want to do is come down here to where it says Shopify specific settings. The first question it will ask you is, do you want this product to be displayed in your store? Select yes to display. So I do want this shirt to be displayed in my Shopify store. So I'm going to change it from no to yes. So it's going to ask me here if it's a new product or if I want to assign it to an existing product. Since I don't want to overwrite anything, I'm just going to select new product. Next, it will ask me for the product type and the product vendor. These two things are really just for your own organizational purposes. You can put whatever you want. I'm just going to enter in for the product type that it is a t-shirt. And for the product vendor, you can put in your brand, you can put in our brand. Again, it's really just for your own organizational purposes. So I'm just going to put in print aura. And then it'll ask you which collection you want it added to. And I only have my homepage collection right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my homepage collection. If you guys have other integrations installed with Print Aura, they will also show up here. So if I wanted to add that same product to my store Envy shop, all I would have to do is click yes, and then it will give me the options for store Envy. But today I'm just adding it to my Shopify store, so I'm going to close this down. If you guys only have a Shopify store, this won't show up. You don't need to worry about it. All you need to do is whenever you're done filling out all of the store information, you scroll down and click add product. So now my product has been successfully added to both my Print Aura page and to my Shopify page. All of the products that you add to your Shopify store through Print Aura will appear here on your Manage Products page. You can edit your products, delete your products, and duplicate your products from here. So let's go ahead and make sure that my product was successfully added to my Shopify store. I just want to go to my store's dashboard and click on Products. I see here this zippered tote bag that I had added previously, and here's the product that I just added. I just need to click on it and upload my mock-up image. So if you take a look at this product page, you'll notice that everything you entered in Print Aura has been populated here. You have your title, your description, mine would have showed up here if I wrote one, if you scroll down, you'll see all the colors have been added in every size we offer in the product that you selected. We try to make it as easy as possible to upload your products through Print Aura. So now if I click back to products, both of the products I've added through Print Aura are here. And again, if I need to edit anything, I can either do it here or I can always do it from my Print Aura account here. I hope this helped you guys understand better how to add products to your Shopify store. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.